Hello. If you are considering adopting the Media Wiki software, you may want to experiment with the local wiki before making your final decision. Here, we walk you through how to create a wiki on your own computer running Media Wiki version 1.39.4. This tutorial assumes that you have the prerequisites already installed. Those prerequisites are documented in our blog post. We start with getting the most basic core wiki up and running. The MediaWiki software is designed with support for extensions that are used to expand functionality and provide new features. Some of those extensions come bundled with the core software and just need to be enabled, while others need to be downloaded separately first. We will discuss enabling extensions in part two of our video tutorial. For now, we just want a bare bones wiki. We begin by creating a folder that we'll have our wiki in. I'll create mine on the desktop and name it Docker. You can choose a different name or location, just update the commands accordingly. In that folder, our first step will be downloading a copy of the media wiki code. The first command needed is git clone https garrettwikimedia.org This will create a new folder, MediaWiki, seen here on the left, and download into it all the pieces of software. It may take a couple of minutes to download. The output here has been significantly sped up. With the code downloaded, we can see that all the media wiki files are created here on the left. Our next step will be in that media wiki folder, telling Git to use the 1.39.4 version of media wiki. And then finally, we want to update all the Git submodules. These are additional pieces of software bundled with MediaWiki Core, including multiple extensions. Again, the output shown here has been sped up. At this point, the code for MediaWiki is downloaded and the specific version that we are using, 1.39.4, is checked out or made active in our Git repository. The wiki is now ready to be created. To set up the installation environment, we create the .env file with the following content, which I am copying from our blog post for simplicity. And with that, we can start the wiki. Run docker compose up dash D. The first time you run this, it'll take a while to download the docker images. At this point, navigating to localhost port 8080 shows that MediaWiki is running, but has not been set up yet. Another command is required. For Windows users, the following command does not work in Git Bash and PowerShell can be used instead. In the MediaWiki directory, run docker compose exec MediaWiki slash bin slash bash slash docker slash install dot sh.
This runs the actual installation. Going back to the browser and reloading the page, we may see that there is an error with a database. This occurs on some systems based on the default configuration, and there is a command to fix this. We can go back to bash and run docker compose exec media wiki chmod r o plus r w x cache slash sqlite. This command is not always needed, but there should be no harm in running it anyway. Reloading the page in the browser, we can see that the wiki has successfully been created. Additionally, we can log in with a username, admin, and the password, DockerPass, that we configured in our environmental file. If we navigate to special version, this shows version information about the wiki, including that we have MediaWiki 1.39.4 installed as expected.